I've been doing this for about 20 years before I brought this side drifting spinner to the public and basically what this is it's a spinner that's not on wire that you side drift and cast and everything's custom designed from the hoochie to the blades of course with gamagatsu hooks and this actually holds bait so you can pull this little loop up to put a piece of prawn and egg in there and these are pretty special lures uh, like I say they're for designed to cast to swing you can back bounce these, you can plunk them if you like, you can run them on bait divers. You want to run about 34 inch leader to a snap swivel to an inline sinker. Today we're using half ounce. In my main line, I'm running a Roscoe snap swivel as well. These are both number sevens. And that's the setup, guys, for swinging for big steelhead and then also for swinging for coho and even kings. This is my setup I use all year round, 100% of the time. I don't care which river I'm going to fish. This is my setup. I'm using a nine foot lamy glass spin station, eight to 15 spinning rod. I've got a PC Fun reel. This is a 3000. These are beautiful reels. I'm using Iserline Spectra Braid. This is 30 pound. Yeah. This is my go-to setup all year round, whether it's coho, kings, or big steelhead, you'll find me using this rod and this reel combination and probably swinging this one for big steelhead. They are something. They're the real deal. Oh, she saw you make This is the technique. I'm using a peak and chartreuse, wicked lure. I've got my 30 to 4 to 35 inch leader, my inline sinker, my Roscoe snap swivels. And let me show you cast these. Right before it hits the water comb, watch my left hand, okay? You can flip your bail over if you just want to click it over. But I've been doing this a long time, so here we go. So watch this. I'm going to lean back. I'm going to cast straight out. Right before it hits, I flip my line, my bail over, and I'm retrieving this thing, and I'm letting it glide. You want to hover fish this just above the rocks. Retrieve it real slow, and keep the line going. You want to just let it swing and let the current take the lure. The lure is fishing. As soon as it hits the water, this lure is fishing right away. So you want to retrieve this all the way back and put your tip down as it gets to the end of your drift. That way your line dips and you'll be surprised how many salmon and steelhead will come right behind the boat. Dip your tip down, that line angle will go back down as you swing behind the boat and steelhead like yesterday, that big fish we caught, right behind the motor. These big steel will chase these lures right to the boat and hammer. Woo, man! <laughs>